A live look right now over New York City. In just a few hours, the former president will speak and his legal team, Angela, already planning the appeals process. That could take years, but they have to wait until the sentencing first. Here's Trump outside the courthouse right after the verdict. This was a rigged, disgraceful trial. The real verdict is going to be November 5th by the people. And they know what happened here and everybody knows what happened here. Trump has been very active on Truth Social. All of these posts from Mr. Trump slamming the judge, calling the case political persecution, and claiming the fight is long from over. And Republican politicians stepping up and standing by Trump's side. President Trump has said it himself. The best revenge is success. What is completely not debatable is that African Americans, Hispanics, Native Americans, women, and the majority population are all flocking towards Donald Trump, you will have a chance to be heard and to be seen. That day is November the 5th. Once a GOP rival, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis planning to help out in a big way. He hopes to raise at least $10 million from July through September across multiple states. Meanwhile, across the aisle, Democrats praising the jury's decision here and aiming to capitalize on the guilty verdict. A text message to voters shows the Biden administration's plea. It says in part, despite a jury finding Donald Trump guilty today, there is still only one way to keep Donald Trump out of the overall office. That's the ballot box. Convicted felon or not, Trump will be the Republican nominee for president. This is the message that was sent to many. Sentencing for Mr. Trump now set for July 11th, which comes just days before the Republican National Convention on July 15th. Trump's more than likely to be officially nominated as the party's nominee for president. Today, Trump's media event scheduled for 11 a.m. outside of Trump Tower. Have all the updates for you right here on air and online at thenationaldesk.com.